Greetings, Internetizens! This is Elmet here, playing Professor Layton in the Curious Village. In the last episode, Lady Dahlia's cat got spooked by a mysterious noise, a shady guy tripped us in town by stealing the Pentagon crank, and uh, I found some robot dog parts. We met Lady Dahlia. Kitty gets scared. That's our new quest! But this is the town hall. With a tarnished chandelier. No connection to Elden Ring? I haven't really seen much of Elden Ring aside from there being a, a boss uh, who attaches uh, a bunch of arms to himself. Well, what's in these windows? Nothing, just darkness. What's in the clock? Some gears, some dog parts? That clock tower is rather worse for the wear. Speaking of clocks, I've got just the puzzle for it. Admittedly, it concerns a more modern type of clock, but never mind that minor detail. Is it another matchstick puzzle? With straight lines again? Imagine a digital clock. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of a day? The clock in this puzzle displays time on a 12 hour scale, not on a military time. <laughs> they call it military time. Well, minutes only go into the 50s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus 11 and 12. It's only 11. You've got everything from 11.10 to 11.19. But isn't that technically one time? It's just longer. Oh, and also 10 with the zeros. That would be 8, that would be 16. Oh, come on, that was vertical. 16. How does this sound? Mm. Oh, I was sure I had it. Oh, alternately, they might be counting each minute separately. Which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 12, 7, plus 10, 7, that's so 34. Each minute separately. Mm -hmm. How does this sound? I did it! Yes! Sometimes there's a catch. Many people forget about these combinations, or maybe they have a different interpretation. Precisely the answer I was looking for. Well done, my boy. Digital digits. Is there foreshadowing happening? Is somebody gonna incorporate clocks or fingers into a clock? Uh, get robot fingers. It's not gonna open. So what next? Oh, I almost forgot. We ought to visit the local inn and see if we can procure some rooms for the night. Sounds good to me, Professor. 
I was certain I saw an inn near the entrance to the village, just south of the plaza we are in. Let's head over right now and see if we can set up some lodging. Am I getting railroaded again? Damn it. Wait, these dudes, what do they say? Yeah, I saw that cat. He kinda looks like a fish. She almost scratched out her eye. I'll catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks, I like living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Hmm, fishman. Would you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? I saw that killer scary off westward. She had fangs the size of daggers. Uh, this is the dude looking for the crank. I was trying to kill the door. <laughs> so how old things? Learning the ins and out of San Mister, are you? Yep, solving puzzles is the only way to get by here. That's what the villagers value well most. I forgot what voice I used. So how about a puzzle right now? A little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourselves in front of others later. As a diehard not conformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle where you need to find the odd man out. Oh, I've been giving those uh, in English class <laughs> once in a test. <sighs> Having to mark the odd animal out. Except, in one case, it was like whale, dolphin, lion, and shark. And... So, <laughs> uh, so the teach when I asked the, what if there's two options that uh, could uh, fit... Uh, that I could uh, mark as the odd one out from different perspectives, she told me to just Explain myself with both. <laughs> so, five cards? A card puzzle? Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the other one out? Well... Club, diamond, another club. And the spade is probably key. The clubs face each other. Bottom of the heart faces inward. Not a spade. Bottom of the heart and bottom of the spade face each other. Er, uh, no. Tip of the spade. The 
black cards are always parallel to each other. And the reds are always of color, also parallel to each other. Is it the distances? These are next to each other. Hard club diamond. Again, this. This again. What am I not getting? Maybe there's another dimension I've been neglecting. These are, these three are on top. Diamond, club, heart. On top. These three on top. And here, the other club is on top. I think I've got it! Legion's Apprentice saves the day! Good job! Fairly straightforward, but catching the subtle difference in the picture can take a while. <laughs> you certainly showed the puzzle who was boss, didn't you? Seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. Feel free to thank me in any way you see fit. Well, be seeing you around. Ha! Painting scrap. Looking for the in. Oh yeah. Cat is running around, but I have to find the inn first. And in the meantime, the cat might come back. Anyway, do any of these painting bits connect? is gone all the in right but I wanted to check the outside that was the paper not the door no the sign all these closed doors not opening anytime soon maybe people are trapped inside switch and the stairs of course is there anything under the couch Beatrice <laughs> who is is this Beatrice oh hello there welcome 
to the end at St. Mister, where the only inn at, in town, you know. You see, visitors to our little village are quite rare. Oh, good day, madam. We seek lodging for the night. Do you have any open rooms we could rent? Oh, my stars, what terrible timing. We're currently remodeling all our guest rooms. The only rooms left are in the attic. But if you don't mind that, I'll make sure you're very comfortable. I do hope you'll stay with us. It's been a while since a fine gentleman such as yourself stayed with us. The rooms are uh, not very big, but I'll make sure they sparkle. Can you come back in a bit? Oh, and I'll do my best to get two normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. So you don't have to be cooked up uh, in one room. Oh, thank you, but you don't need to trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep in, I'm satisfied. Uh, getting two rooms, isn't it kind of a luxury? Oh yes, about that. Oh, what terrible luck. You see, all the beds are out being refinished. But don't worry, Mama Beatrice is going to take good care of you too. I'll even drop the nightly rate. The inn option is in the trunk. The inn is a puzzle. <laughs> Obtain a new item and you need to decide where to put it. Don't worry too much about where you first put an item. Is this the get the donkey into the, the shed puzzle? If one of your rooms is too full to take on new items, the item will go to the room with available space. Here's something to make the place feel a bit more like home. Um, I don't know. The main option is a puzzle. In the trunk. You can place furnishings in the rooms. Use your stylus to move an item. When you move an item, it appears on the top screen in the room. The actual location is decided for you. Both Luke and Professor Layton will comment on how the furnishing of the rooms is coming along. Does this decide the ending? Their goal is to arrange the ideal living space for both of them. You can check how they feel about their rooms by tapping their icons. Don't think too hard. When both Luke and the professor are completely satisfied with their living quarters, something good will happen. This is mysterious. It wouldn't be very comfy. Ah, so Leighton looks this one. Wait, does the happiness go ch change? It looks pretty much the same size, except that the color is different. <sighs> oh, there's a bird. Beato Riccia! And that's from Umineko. Hello there, gentlemen. I've got a doozy of a puzzle on my hands here. Why don't you give it a go? Is it about uh, people getting killed and sacrificed by the key? Of dust and dustpan. As you can see, what we've got there is some trash and a dustpan made of matchsticks. Matchsticks again! Change the picture so the dustpan is holding the trash.
Well, this one seems to be in the right place. Well, maybe, maybe. But then the dust pen will be broken. This is T shape. That's the issue. Alright, I think I might have got it. Move this one, right? And this one. Right there. Is this it? Because uh, this must be pixel perfect. Here's my answer. Every puzzle has an answer. Yeah. Oh yes, it's just as I suspected. The first time I laid eyes on you, I knew you were a man who knows puzzles. Well, well, well. Who likes the rug better? It's everything. Maybe he wants some modern items. Is there a puzzle in the picture? Look, a hidden puzzle. Artist was recently discovered the painting is a self portrait entitled My Beloved. <laughs> oh, assuming he wasn't a huge narcissist. His beloved should appear in the painting somewhere. Is it the holy leaf? Move the sections around. So what? Blends up making the shape of a woman. Wow, this could be a figure. Yeah, this I can see the head, I think. Slender neck she seems to have. Hmm. 
Who is this pointing roast lady? She wearing some shoulder padding. Well, here's my guess. Um, no. Oh, I was sure I had it. like a woman in a hat. Is this better? Doesn't fit to inhabit the hat. That could be some pointy shoulders. A bow in her hair? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the hat brim. Some feathers on the back of her sleeves. A little collar. Well, here's my guess. Legend's Apprentice saves the day! <sighs> the painting must have been a tribute to his love for her or for himself. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now let's go find some more puzzles. Get back to searching for Claudia, Professor. Still not opening. Now what is this way? Some people. And a mysterious sign. It's the menu for the restaurant. But first, I should talk to these people. It wouldn't do to pop the top and have a look, but what if there are monsters in the sewers? Oh, I just... I just had it this time. I think I'm going to explode. I'm getting a boom puzzle. A what? Like a water balloon filled with rage. What's that? Why am I angry, you ask? Why am I angry? Lend me an ear, will you, Gaffy? There are just these three bozos in town, and we just can't stand each other. It's so bad that none of us uh, wanna see each other's ugly mugs, but send me stare in a big place, right? Sometimes we cross paths on the way to work, and just like that, BAM! Time for a screaming match. I sure do wish we could find a way to keep from bumping each into each other in the mornings. Hang on now, you look like you've got a good head on your shoulders. Do a guy a favor and help me with this. Draw a path between one man's home and his work by connecting matching blocks. The catch is that these men can't stand each other, so we have to make sure that none of the paths touch. Tap a block and start drawing. Uh, by blocks you mean uh, the letter blocks, not the, uh, the house blocks. Hmm. You could connect this straight, right? But then... No, 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 this won't do it. Alright. <sighs> a 
perhaps the most distant ones should be connected first. Get the seas out of the way. No, 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 he's in the way of the bees, I think. In the way of the bees. Maybe the bees go first? I'm still stuck. Yeah. This rock is the shortest, sure. Try enough times, good old trial and error, right? <laughs> around them. Well, I might have it. You get to this around here. Weep this A through this all. <laughs> and you connect C's. You connect the uh, Akihiko and the Mitsuru from Persona 3. 
Every puzzle has an answer. And get the Ikutsuki out of there, cause the, he's uh, not the, one of the main guys anyway. None of those guys don't even have to look at each other. Good job! Oh, thanks a million guy! I can finally get to work without blowing my stack! Eh, what? You've been blowing stacks of cash here just to avoid those guys? I really mean it, Polly! I'm used to Polly, the uh, meaning Paladin in all those uh, D and D stories. You're a lot smarter than you look. He looks like a professor. Oh yeah, let me clue you in. See that big old mess of a tower beyond the town square? Take it from me. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay away from that thing. Well, right then, I'm off. Thanks again, buddy. Oh, more dog parts! But what's in the journal? That tower is scary? Hey, uh, Bato Ichi knows how to wield a rolling pin. Back to looking for the kitty. Yeah, very surreal. In a town like this. Uh, there's this lady. Or whatever, I think it's a lady. I'm sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat run by? A white cat? Ah, yes, it ran over that way toward the park. And may I ask, what are you planning on doing with it once you find it? We are going to take it back to Lady Dahlia. It's her cat, and she's asked us to bring it back to her. Ha ha ha! And you're going to try and catch that cat barehanded? Oh, good heavens! That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here, cats love treats, so try luring it over with some food. What do you suggest? I've got some old fish bones around here that I'm sure the little thing will go wild over. I'd be happy to give them to you if you solve this puzzle for me. A fish bone puzzle? Ah, oh, pigs. Seven prize winning pigs are rising about in a pen. To make sure the pigs don't fight, you've decided to section off the pen with three ropes. And you hitch the ropes up to some of the posts and separate each pig from its neighbor. Remember, not even a snout or curly tail can sneak over each partition. <laughs> you should be able to split seven pigs. No, 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 I'm not cutting the pig in half. No! Wrong button! There we go. Frankly, I'm ashamed. like this post. Hmm, seems there's some hair poking through. Not gonna see operation. Hmm. 
split in three and four. Hmm. Is this good? To here, split these three pairs. Oh, oh, oh. Is this good? This seems good, except there's no fence around. That should do it. Critical thinking is the key to success. Uh, yeah. I must say, I'm very impressed. Here you go then, some fish bones as I promise. Good luck with that cat. There appears to be a park, but what about the restaurant? There's people there. So I hear you two are into puzzles. I can tell it's obvious from the way you're ogling these coins. You can smite, can't you? Well, you're right, there's a puzzle in these coins. Have a look. Huh. Ten coins are arranged to form a triangle. The triangle is pointing uh, up. Can you get it to point down by moving three coins? <laughs> I think so. But is it a proper distance? I think this might be it. Unless uh, I messed Let up the. The arrangement. Another puzzle solved. The whole triangle changes shape with the simple shifting of a few coins. Yep, it's just as I thought. You guys are a bunch of puzzle nuts. Hmm. Send me stairs full of puzzle lovers like you too. They came here to investigate and then they got stuck. But not all of them are nice like me. Watch your back! Yeah. Is that a butter? Go for some juice. But oh, I see there is a nondescript bottle of probably alcohol and what just happened? <laughs> that guy there. Yeah, that guy gets so worked up that he looks red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Yeah, but I want to talk to the bar person. Hey, this is your first time here, isn't it? Well, if you're looking for a warm meal and a hot cup of tea, you've come to the right place. Strange it should be so empty if the food's as good as you say. Hey now, boy, no need to be snippy. That's just how the restaurant business is. There are times when the place is packed and times when things are quiet. If it was always lunch rush, how would I prepare food for the rest of the day? Oh, and speaking of preparation, I've got myself a little problem on my hands. You see, I've got to divide this 8 quart pitcher of uh, juice into two equal proportions. However, for the life of me, I can't seem to find my measuring cup. 
I wonder if there's some way I could do it using these five and three quarter pictures I found. Eight quarter picture. And we got a five and a three. But now, that's a four. There we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. <laughs> if you keep at it long enough, you are sure to come across the solution. Seven moves is the shortest possible solution. Great! This riddles have been spotted in Japanese texts, and this is a Japanese game. About a British guy. So that's how it's done. Great thinking. Thanks a lot. If I ever have troubles like this again, would you mind if I call on you for help? Is that a poor? That dog could help. Uh, I wanna keep at it for some more time. Maybe there's stuff in the lamps. Maybe there's ghosts in the lamps. Oh, I wanted to check your cup of tea. Or coffee or something. Or whatever is, is in your mug. Maybe hot chocolate. Now. So, what are you in here for? <laughs> What's in the park? This cat! Professor, there she is! Quickly then, use the fish bones! Here, Claudia! Come here, girl! Meow! We've done it, Professor! Here she comes! Excellent! Now we can head back to Reinhold Manor! Chapter solved, yeah. Having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton and Luke decide to head back to Reinhold Manor. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and investigating, Saint Mister? Here's some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. But there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Redotton's shack in the village square. Is it often to track down puzzles? Yeah. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. Professor? Oh, it's simply awful. Come, come quickly, please. Or did she kill another dog? What's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we've brought her safe and sound. Oh well, Madam will be happy to hear that. But this is no time to worry about a cat! 
Just hurry upstairs! Right this way, please! So you're the famous Professor Layton, then? The name's Chelmy, Inspector Chelmy. I'm the inspector on this case. Well, I'd hardly call it a case. If this is about Claudia, we brought her back safe and sound. Oh, Claudia, my baby! Mama missed you so much! What's this cat doing here? Why on earth would you bring an animal into a crime scene? Have some sense! We were out when this crime took place and don't know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? There's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. What? Who was murdered? The victim was a resident uh, of this address, one Simon Lampel. Simon was... Approximately two hours ago, I received a report that the man had collapsed at Linehold Manor. He was poisoned, hasn't he? Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent to me that Simon was already dead. I see, and the cause of this? I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Leighton. I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. The rest of the details concerning this investigation are classified. Speaking of the details... Who placed the call to the authorities? Are your ears clogged? You deaf? Didn't I just tell you those details are classified? Hmm? Alright everyone, I'll be taking statements from each of you in the other room. Come in one by one. Am I getting a logic puzzle? Then let me make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. Now I'm extra stuck in this room. Anyway, I think I'll leave you off on this. See you next time. <laughs>